Urban Myth. Card number 31. Who uses drugs? Let's check this out. Urban Myth. Who uses drugs? Contrary to popular notion that drug users are mainly black ghetto dwellers, ex-drug czar William Bennett recently noted that, quote, the typical cocaine user is white male, a high school graduate employed full-time and living in a small metropolitan area or suburb, end quote. In 1988 to 1990, survey of 350,000 junior high and high school kids found that 7% of white students use cocaine compare, compared with 7% of black students. Whites were also bigger users of marijuana, 24% versus 13%, and alcohol, 57% versus 29%. In all, in all age groups, higher percentages of whites use drugs than blacks. But it is blacks and minorities who are featured in media coverage of the problem and who continue to fill the courts and jails. In 1990, a 1990 study found that former from 1985 to 1988, drug um, prosecutions of white youth dropped 15 percent, while for non-whites, they jumped 88 percent. One in four black men under 30 is in are in prison, on parole, or on prohibition. Over half of them on drug-related offenses. For whites, the figure is one in 17. As black columnist Clarence Page explains, quote, a well-off user who makes his or her detail deals in downtown office buildings or in a quiet suburb is more difficult to catch and more expensive to prosecute than a street corner crack dealer in an inner city neighborhood blacks and hispanics are disproportionately stopped searched and swept on site instead of instead of war of on poverty we wage war against the poor end quote indeed the government's war on drugs fails to address the social conditions such as lack of jobs and affordable housing which breed drug abuse and the culture of violence associated with it 1990 saw new homicide records set in eight of the nation's largest cities including washington dc urban myth.